In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to create a multi-agent chatbot using memory operation system, MCP and RAG to build a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. This combo gives your chatbot supercharged memory and intelligence. If this is your first time watching me, I'd really recommend checking out some of my earlier videos on MCP. I made a video about MCP that ended up blowing up in the AI community. Let's face it, LLMs have become an important part of building artificial intelligence applications. However, to be able to interact with complex environments effectively, there is little trouble with many AIs at present. They are very smart and respond quickly, but like a goldfish with a memory of only 7 seconds, the longer the conversation and the more complicated the matter, the easier it is for them to black out. This is not because they are stupid, but because their innate way of handling remembering things is a bit limited. Imagine chatting with a friend who has forgotten everything you ever said. Every conversation has to start from the beginning, with no memory, no context and no progression. It feels awkward, exhausting and impersonal. These models struggle to preserve dialogue coherence, recall user-specific preferences and maintain a continuous personalized interaction over multiple sessions. Unfortunately, this is how most AI systems behave today. They are smart, but they lack one crucial thing, memory. That's where Memory OS MCP comes in. Memory OS systematically organizes, updates and retrieves conversation data across multiple memory tiers, short-term, mid-term and long-term personal memory, where AI agents to effectively retain and access relevant information over extended interactions, thus overcoming the limitations of fixed context windows and improving long-term coherence, personalization and user experience in dialogue systems. Let me show you a quick demo of a live chatbot so you can see how it works behind the scenes. I will ask the chatbot a question. What do you remember about my job and hobbies? If you take a look at how the chatbot generates the output, you'll see that the memory OS MCP agent is initialized with user and assistant IDs, API keys, data storage paths, and various capacity and threshold settings, creating dedicated storage for each user and assistant. User inputs and agent responses are added as QA pairs and initially stored in short-term memory. Once short-term memory reaches its limit, the updater module consolidates these interactions into meaningful segments and moves them to mid-term memory. Over time, mid-term memory segments accumulate heat based on visit frequency and interaction length. When a segment's heat exceeds a set threshold, its content is analyzed to extract user profile insights update the user's long-term knowledge, and enhance the assistant's long-term knowledge base. During response generation, the retriever module gathers relevant context from short-term history, mid-term segments, the user's profile and knowledge, and the assistant's knowledge base. This full context, combined with the user's query, is then passed to a large language model to generate a coherent and informed response. I used to struggle with coding. I didn't know where to start, but I kept going. Step by step I learned. It wasn't easy, but I never quit. That's why I started my Patreon to help people like you who want to learn AI agentic large language models and retrieval augmented generation through cool projects we build together. I'm not a genius, I just stayed consistent. If I can do it, so can you. Join my Patreon to learn with me, support my work and grow one project at a time. Definitely stay tuned until the end of this video. And if you haven't followed me yet, I highly recommend you do so to stay updated with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like this video, and check out the previous videos. Memory OS is a memory management system designed to extend the capabilities of AI agents addressing their limited context windows. It introduces a hierarchical memory structure with short-term memory for real-time interactions, mid-term memory for topic-based grouping, and long-term personal memory, LPM, for storing user traits and preferences. Memory is updated dynamically, using first-in, first-out and heat-based strategies, ensuring important information is retained over time. Semantic retrieval helps fetch relevant context across all memory layers, enabling the AI to generate more coherent, personalized and context-aware responses across sessions. Memory OS uses the memory chunking planning mechanism to improve memory management and retrieval, 
MCP divides large conversation histories or knowledge into smaller, manageable chunks that align with memory OS hierarchical architecture, where dialogues are stored as pages within segments. It also helps plan and optimize which memory chunks to retrieve based on relevance, recency, or importance, supporting efficient semantic search and maintaining contextual continuity. This chunking approach enables dynamic memory updates, allowing memory OS to retrieve or replace specific segments while discarding less relevant data using heat-based eviction strategies. Memory OS structures an AI's memory using a hierarchical OS-inspired architecture with four main modules, storage, updating, retrieval, and generation. It follows a three-tier system, short-term QA pairs, mid-term sessions with heat tracking, and long-term profiles and knowledge while separating user-specific data from assistant knowledge. On initialization, it creates file-based storage for each tier and sets up updater and retriever modules. New interactions are added to short-term memory, then move to mid-term when full. Sessions marked as hot, based on visit frequency, interaction length, and recency, trigger LLM analysis. If heat exceeds a threshold, Unanalyzed content is extracted for LLM-based user profiling and knowledge updates, which are stored in the long-term memory. The session heat is then reset. For response generation, memory OS retrieves relevant context from all tiers, builds prompts, queries the LLM, and stores the new interaction. It uses lazy evaluation for profile updates, similarity-based retrieval, heat decay to avoid redundant processing, and maintain separate user and assistant knowledge to learn effectively over time. Before we dive into our application, we will create an ideal environment for the code to work. Let's create the MCP tool server, where I will show how you can use the same concept in your chatbot. They create a fast MCP server and define a tool function add memory using the mcp.tool decorator, which means this function can now be called like a tool inside the fast MCP framework. This function takes in the user's input the assistant's reply agent response, and optionally, a timestamp and some metadata. Inside the function, we check if the memorios instance is initialized. If not, we return an error. It also checks if the required fields are empty and returns an error if either is missing. If everything looks good, we use the add memory method from memorios instance to save the memory. Finally, it returns a result that includes the status, a success message, and a timestamp, either the one passed in or generated using getTimestamp, and some extra info like the length of both messages and whether metadata was included. If something goes wrong during the process, we catch the error and return an error message explaining what happened. So they create retrieve memory to fetch memories from different layers of memory OS based on a user's question. It takes in a few inputs, the main query string, which is required, a description of your relationship with the user, a parameter style, hint to guide the tone of the answer, and a number max results that controls how many answers to bring back. First, it checks if it memorios instance exists. If not, it throws an error. Then, it checks that a query is provided. If not, it also returns an error. They use retriever inside memorios instance to find relevant information using the query and the user ID. It also pulls in the short-term memory and the user's profile summary. Then it builds a JSON file to send back as the result, which includes the status, original query, timestamp, user profile, short-term memory, and the most relevant content pulled from midterm and long-term storage. It neatly formats the returned data to only show what matters, like user input, agent replies, timestamps, and any extra info. After that, they create get user profile to pull together detailed profile information about the user from memory OS. It includes two things, the user's long-term knowledge entries and the assistant's knowledge base. First, it checks whether the memorios instance is initialized. If not, it sends back an error. If everything is in place, it uses get user profile summary to fetch personality traits, preferences, or a general profile summary of the user. That info gets stored in a dictionary with a success status, timestamp, user and assistant IDs, and the actual profile info, unless the profile is missing, in which case it returns a placeholder message. 
If we ask for user knowledge, it loops through the user's long-term memory and adds those entries, each with the knowledge text and its timestamp. Then, they create a memory operation system. First, it defines some configuration details like the user and assistant IDs, API keys, data storage path, and which language model to use. Inside the simple demo function, it initialized the memoryOS instance, setting up its storage and memory thresholds. If everything goes well, it prints a success message. Then, it adds three example memory entries, basically short conversations between the user and the assistant, where Tom shares personal details like his job, location, hobbies, and musical interests. After storing this context, the script simulates a query. What do you remember about my job and hobbies? It calls getResponse on the memo instance to generate a reply based on the stored memories. Say goodbye to goldfish brains and hello to smarter AI companions. Memory OS MCP implements it like giving AI agents a powerful memory plugin. It solves the common forgetfulness problem of AI, allowing them to better understand context, maintain status, and handle complex tasks. With the support of this super memory, the AI agent of the future will no longer be just a flash of intelligence, but a truly reliable, intelligent partner that can continuously learn, remember us, and establish deeper interactions with us.